Playoff action continues. It's game two of the Western Conference semifinals. Welcome everyone to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. DA, take it away. More than 40 years ago, the Oscar Robertson rule ushered in the new era of free agency in the NBA. In the last decade, players have taken personal agency. They've pulled up stakes and forced trades in search of an ideal environment. Now, sometimes for teams on the losing end of that, it's a bitter pill to swallow. But this is the new reality of the NBA. Kevin? It is indeed, DA. Thank you. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, Mitchell and Bogdanovich. They're the wings. Inside, we have Ingles and Gobert. And it's Conley in at the one. And for the Warriors, Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green and Cauley Stein are down low. And it's Robinson in at the three. And it's the Warriors to start out. Curry against Conley. Pass to Thompson. Shoots the three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And this is Thompson's calling card. A lethal three-point shooter. With unlimited range. Mitchell dishes to Conley. Back to Mitchell. That shot off. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. They want to put some distance between them and the loss on Monday. Bad outing offensively. You, you break that game down, their issues were pretty quick. There was too many empty possessions. I mean, they struggled to keep any kind of move. It's good. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Curry's shot is good. And the ability at his size to make a play in the paint against good defense, that's Curry. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. The Jazz shooting their first free throw of the night. teammates uh, they really look up to and we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter here's Ingles great tee that time from Green he's not an easy man to stop him. he's attacking the basket the D doing everything he can Curry finds Coley Stein and there's the call it's going to be an illegal screen now beyond the leaning see his feet weren't set on that screen easy call uh, yeah even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye i mean they're trained to focus on that Conley, the pass to bogdanovich angles trying to get open and there's bogdanovich that's good on the assist from conley i love the awareness conley is adept at reading the defense and realizing when this guy's going to come robinson against bogdanovich to the paint Here's Green, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the call. Utah the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Some of the players around Green over the course of his career have, have stolen uh, the spotlight. But, but don't let that take away from the incredible player he is. Both good from the line that time. The Jazz have gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's Conley. 
First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Yeah, Kevin, he's so tricky, unpredictable. You never know what Conley is going to do in the screen and roll. Here's Curry. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they got. Conley, the pass to go back. Mitchell gets to Conley. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Here's Curry. No good that time. Gobert with the defensive effort. Jazz trail by three. Conley the pass to Mitchell. Back to Conley. Bogdanovich against Robinson. Shot clock at three. Bogdanovich, no what? The D hanging tough and stopping what would normally have been an easy play. Here's the floater. And the layup hit by Curry. Curry's got nine points. Oh, and that's the floater Curry has perfected. I mean, difficult for the defense to predict exactly when he's going to use it. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes, Greg, it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Looney's checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Glenn Robinson III. Alec Burks checked in for Thompson. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Curry. Count that one. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. You see, he had very little resistance. I mean, he had to bring much faster help than that. Russell, no luck. And it's Moutier with the ball. He brings it up for Utah. They trail by three. Exum picks to Moutier. Shoots over Burks. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Yeah, and he's not going to pass up that one. And trust me, he should be solid from that in between. Outside Russell, and Dante Exum picks up the foul. That's his first foul. The Warriors shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. What's up? And that one misses. One twelve left here in the opening quarter. Here's Burks. And Davis pulls it down. I mean, he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. Exum dishes to Green. Burks with it. Now defended by Exum. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And you're going to use this to offensive instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Four on the shot clock. That was the pass to Davis. Shoots over Burks. And Utah again with the bucket. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. Oh, yeah. Flexibility is crucial. You have to be able to take what the defense gives you. Here is Russell. From deep three-point range, it's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. We'll return shortly. Yeah. It wasn't an immediate star turn for Mike Conley in the NBA. He talked about that journey. 
the ups and downs of injuries and early on in my career not being able to be consistent enough to be considered a top guard in the league and making myself work that much harder to get my game to a level where I feel that I can compete against anybody in the league and that's what I'm most proud of is just being able to withstand that. Great work ethic is the key. Conley stayed at it. And a player that's known for keeping his composure, that, that helps also. He, he weathered those early challenges and just stayed positive. And we return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference semifinal. And the Warriors guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, Stats one. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams. But they did it very well. Taking a look at the Jazz, they've got Exum. Green is out there with O'Neal. And there's Davis, and it's Moutier in at the two guard. Here's Exum. He feeds it to Davis. Back to Exum. Green trying to get open is Davis and Jeff Green the bucket on the assist by Exum. Green's got the lead up to three now for Utah. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Burks looking around. Shoots off the step back. Russell with the bucket. A quick-minded player. Russell can adapt to defenses and put the ball through the hoop. Utah calls timeout. here for the Warriors. Willie Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Clay Thompson comes in for Alfonso McKinney. And Curry sub in for Burks. Bogdanovich finds Conley. Nice ball movement by Utah. Mitchell passes to Conley. Here's Gobert. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Uh, no basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. Thompson for the triple. A shot off that time. And it's Utah the other way. Conley gets the bucket. Now it's a five-point Jazz lead. Possessing such quickness and transition. I mean, all Conley needs is just some running room. And he can turn on the Jets. Here's Thompson. This is it to Looney. Up top, Russell. He's covered by Bogdanovich. And Russell gets it to go. An active competitor, Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the ring. It's to go bare. It's tipped. He kicks it to Mitchell. Utah gets it back. Gobert dishes to Ingles. And the pass to Bogdanovich. Another shot. And that one is good. And the Jazz lead by five. And Kevin, they've dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Russell passes to Kerr. Here's Looney. There's the dish to Thompson. No good off the back of the rim. He hit that one three-pointer in the first quarter. Still none so far here in the second. Mitchell's shot is good. And now you see them starting to really work the ball time out, time inside. Out. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here.
Robinson the third is checked in for D'Angelo Russell. Crawley Stein kicks to Robinson. Pass to Looney. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Michael Conley picks one up. The Warriors shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. He's good on the second. Utah leading by six. 149 left in the first half. Bogdanovich against Robinson. Just five to shoot. And Gobert kicks to Ingles. Outside Conley. Connects from three-point range. Conley's got the lead up to nine now for Utah. And not hard to see why they're on the bad end of this run. Just not doing the job on that defensive back row. Nice shot by Thompson. He's an all-time great shooter with a tremendous motor. Thompson loves to one-up their point. Utah calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Carly Stein. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Looney, and it's Burks in for Thompson. Passes it to Moody. Fifty-five seconds left in the first half of the game. Tipped away. Five on the clock. That's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Here's Exum. Four on the clock. Got a piece of it. Now Kirk. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Now just a four-point jazz lead. Maybe you would think Steph would be thrown off by some contact. But I think again, just too good of a finisher in close. Too much field for the puck. Exum's shot is off. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Utah out in front. They're up by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what concerns you most about the first half? Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're, uh, they're fast, and they're getting up and down the floor. So they're running out in transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Well, there's a definite postseason buzz in the air. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for the Jazz, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs the way these two teams are battling. And, uh, Kenny, what you see out there from the Jazz? Well, one place they had the edge was on the offensive board. They converted those extra possessions into points. Nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than forcing a miss and then giving up a second attempt. The offensive glass is going to pay big dividends for them. Jack, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Well, they've been getting worked on the glass. Out-hustled, out-muscled, out-bustled. Where's the fight? I know they got some tough matches. If they really want to win the game, they need to crash the boards way harder in the second half. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. This is we get going here in game two. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of catering for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Green and Cauley Stein are down low. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. And it's Robinson in at the small four. Bogdanovich, no luck. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Conley with it. Eight points for him. Pass to Mitchell. the basket officials blowing the whistle so a chance at the line for one more what's up and, and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game and he's got his first chance at the line here what's up on the free throw no good Warriors trail by four. Here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. Uh, the recognition of when to shoot, when to drive, the play's got to die. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Outside Conley. And slam dunk by Gobert. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. Yeah, Kevin, second chance opportunity so big in this instance. They have to feel fortunate that they can extend that. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Conley's shot is off. Golden State's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Stolen by Michael Conley. Takes the 13-footer. Another miss by Conley. Well, he found an open space for mid-range. Just maybe brushed his release a little bit. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jazz. Mitchell outside. Conley against Kirk. And that's good. Michael Conley for three. Conley's got 11 points. So that gives him two three-pointers for the game. One in each half. I mean, he may add to that total pretty soon. Timeout called the Warriors.
here for the Warriors. Looney's check in for Draymond Green. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Robinson. And it's Russell in for Curry. Thompson outside. Over Mitchell. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. McKinney kicks to Russell. Thompson outside. Inside, Pauly Stein makes it off the glass. Pauly Stein's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. I like seeing that kind of sharp passing. Thompson making sure they get the best shot possible. Utah calls timeout. Burks has checked in. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Davis has checked in for Joe Ingles. O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. Moutier has checked in for Mitchell. And it's Dante Exum in for Mike Conley. Three-pointer. Moves back up. And Gobert with the lay-in. Gobert's got four points now in the quarter. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Moutier against Burks. The pass to McKinney. Shot clock at six. There's Russell with the three. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Moutier, best to Gobert. And here's Moutier. Here's Exum. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Warriors trail by four. So here's Burks. Pass to McKinney. Collie Stein kicks to Burks. Looney passes to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's McKinney over O'Neal. McKinney, no good. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. The Jazz have shot two free throws, and they're 1-2 so far. Shooting two. And the first one drops. A different look for Utah. Green comes in for Royce O'Neal. And Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Exum. Both free throws good from Moody. Warriors trail by six. Now, here is Russell. Uses the glass to finish the way. Russell's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, showing improved power. Russell takes a hit on the drive there, but still able to convert. Now, Green. On the wing, Mitchell. Burks covering, and it's Mitchell missing, pushing it up. About three seconds between shot and game clock. 
every team looking to get easy ones in transition. You know what Greg, that's about as high percentage a look as you're going to get running the floor beautifully. Jacks up a three. It's off. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Jazz lead by two. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. The talented backcourt pair. Gobert is out there with Davis, and it's Ingles in at the three slot. Here's Green, and Davis sends it back. Now here's Conley, the fast break opportunity. No coverage that time. Conley's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Jams. Birch with it. Looney and terrific work on the offensive glass and he picks up two and really at this stage of the game to get those kinds of offensive rebounds from putbacks you almost feel like it's a four point swing yeah, that is a huge play it looked like they had to stop they double team Conley and he lays it straight in Ingles has got his first points of the night. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Russell against Conley. And it's Russell missing. Utah leading by four. Ingles finds Mitchell. Gonna put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Timeout called the Warriors. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Thompson comes in for Burks. And it's Stephen Curry in for D'Angelo Russell. Bogdanovich is checked in for Utah. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He said, we're too concerned with their shooters right now. We've got to close off the inside. They are gutting us. Complete it with his guys. Come on. Let's take a stand. Kevin? I tell you, how do you defend Curry on the catch and shoot? It's hard because he can hurt you from so many spots on the floor. Here's Gobert. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. I think he lets the D get to him there, and he rushes it. I mean, he has plenty of space there if he just takes his time. Right side Robinson. Six to shoot, and the wide open shot from Green. The shot misses. He gets the playground jumper. Can't make good on it. They get a hand on it. Robinson against Hunt. Here's Mitchell. Warriors with the rebound. Curry deciding where to go with it. Passes it to Green. 
Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Offensive rebound, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Ingles. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so he hits both. And here is Curry. Pass to Green. On the wing, Thompson. And again, no good by Golden State. A little surprise he took the jump shot with nobody around him. He could have attacked the basket. Mitchell, this is to Gobert. Here's Mitchell. And here's Conley outside. Second shot opportunity. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Here's Curry. Rebounded by the Jazz. Ingles has got six rebounds in the game. To the middle is Bogdanovich. Cauley Stein grabs the board. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Seven-point differential. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and got in the perfect position to alter the shot. And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. Out to Conley. On the clock. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Conley's got the lead up to 10 now for the Jams. Golden State running out of time. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Curry can't get it to go. Bogdanovich looking around. On the wing, Ingle. Back to Bogdanovich. Outside Conley. A three ball. The shot comes out, so Golden State will take it the other way. Curry finds Thompson. Banked in off the glass. Our end to end, Thompson is very difficult to match up with defensively. I mean, but if you don't do it, <laughs> that's the outcome. Conley against Curry. Now here's Conley. And so it's Utah with the win. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now break two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense first team. You picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? Uh, I feel like we weren't focused in the first half defensively, and uh, we just have to come back and communicate and just be focused, you know, and that's what we did. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second-round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.